What is up guys? 21 year old Passport Bro here and today we need to talk about something very important. Pray to God he lets me get this message through the right and correct way. Today let's talk about how black entertainers, singers, and dancers are really just jesters in their truest form, bro. And a to like actually fully understand this, we gotta go back to the originality and the history of it, bro. What were jesters? In the old days, bro, people in higher positions and royalty, they would bring in people, let's say clowns, people who sing, people who dance, and they bring them into the castle and then they perform for them and entertain them and distract them. What does that sound like to you today, guys? All these singers and dancers. But now guess what we're doing? We're praising them and acting as if they're gods. When in reality, bro, we're just being jesters. Every black man, if you ask him what he wants to be, he's gonna say a singer, a dancer, a rapper. But guess what, bro? Those are gestures. That's literally just saying, all right, I want to appease people above me, white people or people in power and make them fucking feel good and distract them from the realities of the world, bro. All black people want to be now is distractions and it's not okay. We need to start asking ourselves, why aren't we, why aren't we telling our kids to be lawyers? Why aren't we telling our kids to be doctors? Why aren't we influencing them to follow a path of, let's say, Malcolm X or Martin Luther King, somebody who actually has ideas in this world and who can make a change? Why does every black person want to be a singer, a dancer, and a gesture? Bro, it's not okay. We don't need more people to sing and dance and distract the world and white people from rea the reality of the world, bro. We need more black inventors. We need more black people to start off. We need more black authors. There's so much more things we need black people to do rather than sing and dance and distract people. And it goes back to that olden times, bro. Now the gesture, bro. And back in, back in the olden times with the gesture, he have a high status. He would be highly favored by the kings and queens and he would be looked after and would get good pay. And he would be brought to all these nice and fancy places. What does that sound like? That sounds like our modern entertainers, our modern singers and dancers. They get paid handsomely and they also get to travel the world and see amazing things, bro. But in reality, they don't really have any power or can, can't really control anything or control the strings, guys. We gotta start getting more black people in power, not black people who sing and dance. We think just because they're singing and dancing for white people and making them money and distracting people, they're in power. No, guys, just because somebody gets a million dollars for singing and dancing doesn't mean he's in power. Just like in the old times, the king and queen would pay their jester, pay their clown and fool. But guess what? He still don't have no power. He still don't got no say. He still ain't going to come up with an idea. He's just a distraction. So we got to stop being distracted by these people. And we got to teach our kids. No, don't look up to every singer and dancer. Yes, Michael Jordan and all these Night, whatever singer and dancer Chris Brown yes they're talented people guys but we shouldn't be showing them to our kids saying that is the model and that's the example that we should you guys should be like we should be showing them Malcolm X great black inventors people who have actually created a change and are going against the norm bro we don't need more gestures How, bro now that's a black man's job it's a shame, bro. It's a black man's job to entertain the world and distract people from the reality of the world in pain. That's not okay. We, we're much more than that. But they don't want us to believe that. They want us to believe all we're good for is shaking our bums and asking for coins, bro. Bro, we have minds. Think about how many great black inventions and ideas have been created. But we're losing that. Notice how we're kind of losing that now because every black kid wants to be a basketball player. Every ba black kid wants to be an M a fucking rapper. Every black kid wants to do something in entertainment rather than come up with an idea, write a book. Bro, create a movement. Back then, bro, and it's funny. And a lot of people, I hear this all the time, bro. They said before the NWA movement, a lot of black people wasn't trying to be gangsters. They didn't think that shit was cool. There were gangsters and stuff, but people didn't think that shit was cool and idolized. But guess what? When the white people got their hands on NWA, why did they promote that to a mass level, guys? You gotta think deeper. Because they wanted young black kids to say, I want to be like that. And now, ever, now ever since NWA, every young black kid said, I wanna be a gangster. I wanna be cool, I wanna be street. 
But before that, bro, it was, I want to be like Malcolm X. I want to be like Martin Luther King. I want to start a movement. I want to create change. Look, they're programming us, guys, and we're allowing them to. They've got us into this gesture role, and I'm sick of it. That's why I can't come on my platform anymore and keep fucking singing and dancing and doing videos with girls all day and throwing that down y'all throats and getting famous off that shit. Bro, I'm not, I'm done fucking singing and dancing for white people, bro, just to make them money and distract people. Bro, I got a message and you do, you have a message too that you need to share. They don't want us to share a message and lead a movement and create change. They just want us to keep fucking entertaining. So at the end of the day, bro, you gotta be who you are. If you're an author, if you're a writer, if you have those gifts and skills and talents, use them. And I'm not saying it's not okay to make music and it's not okay to like act, but bro, not every black kid and every black person needs to do that. A lot of us are smarter than that, but all we can see is that because that's all that's been thrown down our throats. I love you guys so much. And check out my new Passport Bros video right here. Also check out my Passport Bros song. And guys, I do one-on-one -on -one coachings to teach people how to gain 80,000 plus followers and millions of views on YouTube as I've done. So also check the description if you guys want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'll be back with another video, guys. I love you.